Three lies most people believe about money. Sometimes last year, a long-term friend of mine visited my office. As friends, we started discussing different things, politics, life, and money. Then my friend said something that shocked me. He said, you see, our fathers were very lucky because things were better in their days. Really? Things were better in the last 50 years? It was easier to make money seven decades ago? Well, here's the thing. That's what my friend believes and until he changed that belief, he can never be rich. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the three silly things most people believe about money. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now let's get into it. Think about what my friend said. Yesterday was better. Our fathers were luckier. The economy was good last year. This is one of the lies most people believe about money. But you know what is funny? Listen to this. Though my friend believes that our fathers lived at a better time, our fathers were poor. You think about that. He thinks and believes that our fathers lived at a better time, but mine and his father were poor. If truly they lived at a better time, why are they poor? Well, they are poor because they also believe that the generation before them was better. Now let me tell you the truth. Whenever you live in where you live, you can't fast forward or backward your life. One proverb from my culture says, when you wake up is your morning. Aside from the fact that no generation is worse than the previous one, even if the last generation was better, since you don't have any power to live there, you just have to figure out how to become successful right in this generation. Every generation comes with its own opportunities and challenges. The problem with most people in the world is that they are trained to focus on the woes of their generation. Stop seeing everything that's wrong in your generation. Start looking for opportunities in your generation. If you look, you'll find. If you seek, you'll see. If you knock, the door will be open to you. Yesterday was not better than today. Tomorrow will not be worse than today. The individual determines what kind of world they have, regardless of the generation they live in. I don't know how to be rich. A woman once visited my home. She's a friend of my family. She saw how great we were doing and she wanted to know how we did it. She said something like, can you please show my husband how to do what you're doing? I then sat her down and explained everything about my business model to her. Now that she knows how to do what I'm doing, she can then make as much money as I'm making, right? Wrong. The second lie most people believe about money is that they think that the reason why they are poor is that they don't know how to be rich. Well, that's not true. People are not poor because they don't know how to be rich. People are poor because they don't know why they must be rich or they have the wrong reason. Let me explain. As humans, you will never do any difficult thing except you have a strong reason to do it. The reason we are talking about here must be so strong that you hardly want to live without it. Most people think that there is a formula for becoming rich. I'm sorry, there is none. There is no formula for becoming rich. There is no desperation for becoming rich. Don't be deceived. You are not poor because you don't know how to be rich. You are poor because you don't know why you should be rich or because you have the wrong reason for wanting to be rich. If you have a strong reason to become rich, you will become desperate. Nobody will tell you to throw your TV away. Nobody will tell you to spend fewer hours complaining. Nobody will tell you to reduce the hours you spend on social media. Nobody will tell you to read one or two books about money every month. Nobody will tell you to avoid luxuries now that you are broke. Nobody will tell you to save money. Nobody will tell you to start a business. And when you fail, nobody will tell you to try again. The only thing you need is to know why you must be rich. I've told you my personal story many times on this channel. What drove me was my thirst for freedom. I love freedom. I love to wake up anytime I want, sleep anytime I want, do whatever I want and still have the money. I knew that this is only possible if I own a business and that was the reason why I became desperate. I was so desperate to become rich that I was willing to do anything. When I use the word desperate here, I don't mean that you should go and do illegal things. That's not what I'm advocating. I'm a Christian and I believe in righteousness but I also believe in holy desperation. I believe that people should do difficult, ugly and dirty things as long as those things are not sinful or illegal. Stop looking for how to be rich. 
sit down and understand why you must be rich. If you know the reason why you must be rich, you'll become rich. Pauline Kael said, where there is a will, there is a way. If you know why you must do something, you'll find a way to do it. My country is poor. Corporate America is corrupt. If you ask any Indian or African to tell you the reason why they are poor, the answer is simple. I'm poor because I was born in a poor country. If you ask any American or European to tell you why they are poor, it's the fault of corporate America or the system. Everyone has a demon they believe is holding them back. And that's funny. But you know something? You are the demon. You are the one stopping you. Many people believe that the opportunities in their country have been monopolized by a few people. Well, this is because most people don't know what opportunity looks like. If you know what opportunity looks like, then you will understand that no human being is powerful enough to monopolize opportunity. To start with, we have to understand that change is the father of opportunity and change is too powerful for any human to even understand. Let me give you some examples here. I read an article yesterday where Bill Gates was quoted saying that he regretted missing the opportunity to be the owner of the Android platform which Google owned. What you have to understand here is that Bill Gates has become a billionaire since 1980s and the guy who owns Google then were still nobody, even after Gates had become the richest person in the world. But because opportunity comes with change and no human being can predict the wind of change, anyone who is searching can find the opportunity to be rich. IBM has been the giant in the computer world like forever. But the poor guys like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak came from nowhere to beat IBM in the computer market. This is because no human being, no matter how powerful, can ever monopolize opportunity. Nokia was once the king in the mobile phone market. But get this right, change destroys the old and gives way to the new who are prepared. Nobody among humans is powerful enough to monopolize opportunity. So never complain that all opportunity have been taken. You are not seeing those opportunities to become wealthy simply because you are not prepared and searching. Let me conclude this video by telling you this. It's up to you. It's up to you and it's up to you. Yesterday wasn't better than today. Nobody takes the opportunity you need to build wealth. What is stopping you is that you don't know why you must do it or your reason is not strong enough to drive you crazy. Take responsibility for your life. Stop making excuses. Get out and do the hard things. Sit alone and read good books. Eat the ugly frog. Stop believing lies. Embrace the truth and you'll be wealthy. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.